Welcome to Learning the Carpals of the Hand. And I'm your host, Dr. Jerry McNally. The wrist contains eight carpal bones, and these bones are considered short bones. To name them, we're going to start at the proximal row on the thumb side. And that's right here, uh, closest to the radius. But first, we're going to need a mnemonic to help us remember these names. Hmm, I wonder if this pepper is hot. Yikes! I guess some ladies try peppers that they can't handle. And so our mnemonic is, some ladies try peppers that they can't handle. And so this is a left palm, and here's the thumb. Taking a look at the proximal row of carpals, we have the S for sum, and that's for the scaphoid. The L for ladies is the lunate. The T for try, well, let's just finish the word, try quitrum. And the P for peppers is the pisiform. Looking at the distal row, the first T for that is for the trapezium. The second T for they is for the trapezoid. The C for can't is for capitate, and the H for handle is hamate. I hope this helps. One problem that we have in the distal row of carpals is that there are two T's, the trapezium and the trapezoid. And well, I, I prepared a little cartoon to maybe help you tell the two apart. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to be amazed as I perform an amazing feat, which is a big deal since I'm a thumb. <laughs> Get it? Thumb, feet? Uh, never mind. Anyway, this for the first time, a thumb will swing on a trapeze. Oh, I think I'm gonna need a hand. <laughs> oh, I think I broke a nail. And so don't forget that the thumb swings on the trapezium. Well, I hope that helps. And don't forget to practice, practice, practice. That's the only way you're going to learn anatomy and physiology. So, hope this helped and best of success. <laughs>